They bump short now on this side for Sean Rivers. He can't get to it. Lang does. Now he gives it up. And Rivers passed somebody down in a crumpled ball in front of the North Bay bench. I didn't see what happened there. You see Murray is being tagged on this side by, oh, now we go. There we go, a bunch of them. As somebody definitely uh, did something to that player, Billy Wright. I guess Murray was the guilty party, according to the Centennials. And now they've got it going awful ugly. Well, this is going to be a very ugly scene, I think, no question about it. Players dropping their gloves, and it's happening right at the Sudbury bench, which is uh, one of the worst places you can have it happen because all the other players from the bench start getting into it. And <coughs> if this uh, goes any further, don't be surprised to see some of those black and yellow shirts jump off the bench on the other side. Jamie Matthews throwing some fists at Thorpe down there by the Sudbury bench, and now it's uh, reciprocated. At least two fights on the goal, and other guys paired off. You see them dancing on that side. Linesman trying to get loose. 55 Barahowski. Barahowski and Glenn Murray trying to go at it. Glenn Murray was tackled by about four players there. There's Cale Short doing a little dance with uh, Bill Lang. So I didn't see what initially happened. Obviously, uh, 17 was uh, Billy Wright, the injured player. He fell. He was in a in a ball, basically curled up in front of the. Uh, now you see Jason Young going or tangling with uh, Wright, who was the injured party originally. Now they're trying to get going at it. <coughs> Meanwhile, well, Jason Young certainly isn't a fighter. I think this is probably the first time I've ever seen him drop the gloves in his OHL career. He's uh, known for scoring goals, and this isn't really his style. Trying to do the old how you hold, he ends up on the ice. Referee is there now trying to separate those two as that's basically the way it sits now besides Barahowski and Murray who are now being tamed down and brought to the penalty bench area. Now the fellows trying to extricate themselves. Barahowski and Murray standing about four feet apart. One linesman separating them and I'll tell you those two guys two of the better players on these two teams they are very hot under the collar and may end up get, getting the boot from this hockey game because no question if they don't get the boot chances are they're going to end up toe to toe sometime before the night is out. Quite a bit of mayhem here developing and we had talked about it I guess in the first period as well Jeff it was sort of something that you could feel brewing and the incident I don't know if there's any replay that would show it what happened uh, to right in front of the North Bay bench but uh, recapping he was down a whistle blowing and uh, all of a sudden, North Bay players, somebody told them, I guess, at the bench that it was Murray, I guess, that it did it because they all of a sudden came running over to the Sudbury bench, or skating, I should say, over to the Sudbury bench. And then uh, two or three players uh, <coughs> basically tried to mug uh, Glenn Murray. And I think Barahowski was the one who got involved with him. And they certainly have got a, uh, a bit of time now as the linesmen have out the notebooks to try and see who is getting what, where, why, and, uh, and and what for. Well, you just saw the penalty boxes. They are full. Uh, there's a whole line in there from the Wolves, Young, Murray, and Matthews. On the other side, you can see uh, Billy Wright, Brad Brown, who was in there from before, uh, Barahowski, Thorpe. So uh, the penalty benches are very full, and now it's a matter of uh, Van Masenhoven uh, taking a look at the notepad and figuring out exactly what he wants to do. Certainly, uh, some players will remain in that box for some time and wouldn't be surprised if some of them are pulled out and uh, sent to the dressing room for showers. It'll be interesting to see. Again, <coughs> the replays, Jason Young now being escorted to the Sudbury bench, or where is he being escorted to? He may be out of the game. If we can get a wide shot on the ice, uh, it's quite the, uh, the look out there by the North Bay blue line. Uh, <laughs> gloves and sticks scattered everywhere, and there we got it. Now, Billy Wright has been escorted to the North Bay dressing room, so those fellas are in and out, or out and gone, I guess. There goes Billy on his way to an early shower in this hockey game. Bill Lang also going cross ice. Get the feeling it's going to be a late night here at the Sudbury Arena. Well, I don't think uh, there was a call originally on uh, the North Bay player who was 
lying on the ice. I don't think there was going to be a Sudbury penalty to start with. Billy Wright, 17, was the original player. And uh, it ended up Murray was tackled down by the Sudbury bench, and everyone went nuts after that. So hard to say. I wouldn't be surprised. In fact, my guess.